even as the anti-terror agency NIA probes the November 19 Mangaluru blast that occurred in an auto rickshaw injuring the driver and a passenger, a senior leader of the Congress party has already reached to the conclusion about the motive and the guilt, with the KPCC president DK Shivakumar saying that the blast was a mistake and was exploited by the BJP government to divert attention from the vote gate. Now, Congress is named for the deletion of the names from the electoral rolls charge that has now been leveled with this declaration comes from a senior party leader that has undertaken the Bharat Jodo Yatra, a journey that the party claims aspires to unite India. And now one of its most top leaders, who by the way also worked with Rahul Gandhi, whitewashes a terror bid. For DK Shivakumar, the blast that could have ended up killing hundreds of people, he's been calling it as a mistake. You tell me, you said that is a big uh, terrorist. What are the terrorists? This is that people. What action you have taken? Who has declared? Who has the DG to declare himself that is the terrorist? Or Pulwama or anything? Nothing is there. Some fellow might have done some mistake, we don't tell. But how we are going to project it? Why, why do you think the government was doing that? Why? Because the vote gave. They wanted to steal the votes in the history of Indian politics. Now, even if we talk about the Congress uh, chief of Karnataka questioning BJP's intent behind outraging over the blast, the Saffron Party has now turned the tables on him. They ask, is it appeasement that is forcing a certificate of innocence by DK Shivakumar? Lalit dikit sih kemarau. Ini untuk orang silly blast tu. Antara itu untuk orang. Nah, orang orang itu lagi mata itu orang biasa gitu. Atau apa kita ni nu reaction kuda. Kalau sebab itu, raja raja dah cakap. What more they can appease? Every day they appease the minority or one or the other section of the vote. But still they are unable to get the votes. But at least he should have some concern about the people of Karnataka who have made him MLA and minister several times in the past. Have some gratitude, Mr. D.K. Shukumar. The matter and the probe has been transferred to the NIA. The NIA is investigating the matter. Even before a clean check can be given by the agencies, why is the Congress party so eager to give Islamist terror a clean check? Why is the Congress party having such double standards? And why is the Congress party soft on terror is the question that needs to be asked. Going across to Imran now, Imran, the reactions that are also coming in from the BJP side demanding questions from the Congress party, in particular DK Shivakumar, what exactly made him give a clean chit to the Mangaluru blast accused? Well, absolutely, DK Shivakumar yesterday while uh, during a program uh, gave it, uh, went on to say that this issue has been blown out of proportion by the BJP in order to gain political mileage in the upcoming elections. In fact, he went on to say that the, 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 the main accused, Sharik, did a small mistake. And why did the BJP have to project it as if like it is 26 bar 11, which uh, terror, terror attack in Mumbai or the Kashmir or the Pulwama? He went on to say that it was a small issue and it uh, was blown out of proportion by the BJP uh, to, to, to get political benefits, uh, mileage in the upcoming election. However, the BJP party has slammed the, uh, the, uh, the party president of Congress, D.K. Shikumar, saying that in order to appease the minorities, uh, they, uh, he is compromising with the national security. Mm. And where he's even questioning the intelligence agencies and the state agencies over this issue, saying that uh, the, the first day itself, BJP said it's a terror angle. How Absolutely. It's already the it? terror attack that has been questioned by the, D, uh, the Congress party leader, D.K. Shivakumar, even as the NIA continues with this investigation in the blast case. Thank you very much, Imran, for the moment. You're